gravity surrogates. First of all, in weightlessness, you have to learn how to stabilize your body so you're not just floating away all the time. Um, you might hold on with your hands, but uh, most of the time we actually hook our feet somewhere like I'm doing right now. I hope you like my owl socks. How about things, objects? For example, tomorrow morning I have a blood draw and here are some of the things I need without even considering the actual blood tubes. Sharps container, gauze, gloves, a butterfly needle, a tourniquet, biocide wipes, band-aids, and everything is floating away from me. Oh. So how do I deal with all of this in weightlessness? We need gravity surrogates. Gravity surrogate number one, a classic of spaceflight, Velcro. We have Velcro all over space station and everything that flies up here should have Velcro attached to it as well so that we can put it down on a piece of space station Velcro. Gravity surrogate number two, the bungee cord. Putting something on Velcro is great for temporary stowage, but the truth is, especially if something is big, it can easily be kicked off the Velcro strip. And so for long-term stowage, you know, if we stow our bags long-term, we typically put them under a bungee, just like that. Gravity surrogate number three, tape. Let's take, for example, the uh, tubes for my blood draw tomorrow. They actually have no Velcro. So what we typically do is um, cut a piece of uh, tape, just like that, and uh, put it down with the sticky side up. And then we can, for example, deploy it all in a row, the tubes for our blood draw. So what do you think about our gravity circuit? Tell me in the comments.